What's going on guys? So Lauren and I are on our way to Camaro Fest 7 in Bowling Green, Kentucky. We've already been through as many tornadoes as I have ZL1s and I am hopped up on energy drinks. And I want McDonald's. That orange overhang, do you know what that is? I don't know why, what is it? No, it's not. It has to be, That's I know not. that orange overhang. That is not a McDonald's Yes it there. is, Nick, yes it is. Anyway, so uh, before we hit to hit Camaro Fest, uh, we are going to Bachman Chevrolet in Louisville, Kentucky to meet up with Mike Davenport because that is where I am going to pretty much get my new vehicle from. In a quarter mile, the destination is on your right, mm -hmm. Bachman Chevrolet. Bachman Chevrolet. Oh, I see it. Look at that. Look at that big ass oh. American flag out there. There it is. Wow, that's a huge dealership. So those of you that do not know, this is the dealership that obviously sold me the 2017 ZL1 and uh, Mike had it delivered from here. So it is taking us- Proceed to the route. Shut up. That's right. It has taken us about, I don't know, what would you say, 10 hours? And here he is, there's Mike himself. What's up, dude? What's up, buddy? How are you? Good. You couldn't have, um, we couldn't have timed that better. I know. I was right there. Now I'm in <laughs> I'm in your hometown now. Oh, the Good. car is back home, right? <laughs> yeah, it is. <laughs> Over here is Mike's uh, 2SS I love it. I love it. tinted windows. Look at that. It's, it, I like it. I like the red the red accents and everything he has on there. And it has the uh, Camaro like yeah. emblem kind of etched in there. <clears throat> this is, I, I said, look, he's got a reserve spot. This is the number one Kentucky car salesman reserve spot, right? Right. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we are going to pull the cars around, myself and, and Steve, who's uh, who has been along with it uh, for the trip this whole time. And the nice thing about coming here uh, at the dealership is we are going to have the oil changed in both of our cars and they're going to be washed because, like I said before, I wasn't joking. We literally went through like two tornadoes on the way here. I don't think I've ever seen um, or drove through this much, this much rain like ever. I mean, it, it was a good solid four, what do you think, four hours of rain? Yeah. But yeah, so it's nice. Uh, it'll save us a lot of time too, watching it before the show tomorrow. All right, so I'm eating some beef jerky here, but I'll try to tell you guys, this is pretty cool, Nova Stretch. This is where it done wonders for this trip. As you can see, all this stuff stuck in there. It would be all over the car, is not, <clears throat> or all over the front. Steve's, if you look at Steve's, he caught even more than me. So this is definitely worth the investment on your cars and they fit awesome, they fit perfect. And it's cool because right here, they just pop off, look at that. You replace the stock star, star uh, bit screws with just a regular screw and like it's uh, basically a button head on it. And it just slaps, you know, pins right on there. So you just snap on the Nova stretch and that's that. And then when you want to take it off, you just pull it right off and they'll stay right there. So here's the Nova Stretch uh, front bandana, as Steve, Steve likes to call it. Took it off his car and look at the look at the difference. You can see the line of dirt where it was not protecting the car and where it was. Yeah. I mean, there's some dust and stuff just sitting on there from what it collected, but no bugs. So here we are sitting inside Bachman Chevrolet at Mike Davenport's desk. Andy, tell the viewers how the past two days went and how today is gone and uh, well, today's actually, stuff. I mean, for me, everything's going fine. He's lying. So. <laughs> Complete liar. Complete liar. Fake news. Fake news. Well, Tuesday night, I stayed up all night to work on your car, which Bad ended decision. up not working out anyways. Bad decision. Bad decision. I'm still tired from that. BT dubs. Nitrous is installed, just not tuned yet. Yeah. Um, it rained a lot on the way down here for you. I missed a lot of it. I already told the viewers that I hit more tornado, uh, hit as many tornadoes as I have ZL ones. You probably so. did. <laughs> I'm, I was ahead of the storm the entire time, like since when you guys got stuck or whatever. Yeah, I was. I must have jumped ahead of it somehow, and I stayed ahead of it until I dropped off those transoms. Yeah, and then I got in in a little bit, but you guys were, were 20 minutes ahead of me. Yeah, right, right, you know right. So no. it was a stretcheroo, the old stretcheroo. No, yeah. Ozark, you know how you put like everything two by two? You can oh, take like your two ZO yeah. ones like up the up Noah's Ark. Like when yeah, I called two by you, two, Jesus. When I called you and you were saying about, you were screaming about the lightning and the thunder sound like gunshots. Yeah. Dude, I was in the parking lot of that gas station. I'm looking at it. I'm like, whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> Dude, yeah. It was close. Dude, dude. it was huge. Dude. It was Just close. Block, yeah, we almost got struck by lightning out. today getting here. Oh, so we're sitting here and uh, we're going to do some paperwork here on the new vehicle. And then um, Mike 
is going to deliver it to me tomorrow at uh, at Camaro Fest. So. Like Christmas. Like Christmas Day. Christmas in July. All right, so Mike, I'm taking your car, and you're wait, gonna. Wait, wait, taking my car. I'm taking your car. Where'd you get that key at? Um, you have to talk to Bill. The, the that is my car. Look, I keep my. I don't have. <laughs> Dude, uh, this is it right here. This is Mike Davenport's keys to his Camaro. I'm gonna take your car, and tomorrow you're gonna bring me my new vehicle in exchange for your car. Okay, all right, that's a good. Is deal. that a good deal? Yeah. Okay. If cool. I get any speeding tickets, do they go to you for the new car? Um, yeah, yeah you might want to talk to Steve, Steve Bachman, <laughs> <Yeah>. about that <laughs> one. <laughs> All right, dude. I will see you. See you tomorrow. All right. So I'm really, 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 really excited to show you guys a new vehicle. Sorry to keep you in suspense for so long, but I'm really trying to make this uh, kind of like a prequel to the, to the Camaro Fest vlog. Um, I didn't really record anything getting here because it was, I'm it's just, honest to God's truth, it was a catastrophe getting here, weather-wise, everything, and um, I'm happy we're here, beautiful weather we have here. I've done all the paperwork for the vehicle and everything is, everything is ready. Uh, it's getting here very, very late tonight, so this is the reason why I'm driving Mike's uh, Camaro to our hotel rooms. He's got, he's staying in the same place we are in Bowling Green and uh, basically he's gonna drive my new vehicle to the hotel room tonight and then we're all gonna drive everything to the show tomorrow, Friday morning. So, very excited to meet all you guys. By the time you're watching this video, it will already be the end of Friday. So, thank you guys all for coming to the show and talking with me. So without further ado, here is the new Guitar Magen Z01 vehicle. Alrighty, so here we are at Camaro Fest. The cars are set up right here. 5th Gen Z01, 6th Gen Z01. I'm sorry, they're start they started drag racing now, so unfortunately, this video might not be as good as it should have been. But, right here is the new Guitar Mageddon Z01 vehicle. Boom, there it is. 2017 Chevy Silverado Z71 off-road package. It's not the LTZ, but I pretty much optioned it out to be everything that the LTZ is. It has the trailer brakes, everything like that's full leather. Hang on, let me get this key out. Full leather, um, you know, heated seats, everything that you can option out in the interior. It has the all-star package on it, and then I have the, the that blackout package. So, you know, the black wheels, the black, the black front and rear bow tie, you know, this truck it looks amazing and I'm so happy with it. What is this? What do we got here? The, oh, Mike, this is um this is, this is your third Z? This is Lauren's new vehicle. Uh I bought her a Silverado. So, Silverado. Yeah. Chevy a Silverado. Silverado. A Silverado. <laughs> Z71 off-road Silverado. <laughs> like I was saying, I love this truck. And you know the, the funny thing about this is I was never a truck guy. Never a truck guy. I was like, why do I need a truck? I don't I don't I don't need to haul anything. I I just drive a car, everything's fine, I can fit everything in my car. Well now that I'm into racing and you know I have stuff I need to haul all the time and now I can possibly even trailer this car with the truck, it's now a great investment to make. And um, this is pretty much my new daily driver. Um, I'm getting rid of the Saturn, getting rid of the Jeep obviously, and this is the new daily. So there's gonna be a ton of videos on this truck. I know you guys are excited just as much as I am. So I love the looks of the truck, Everything is everything's perfect. And Mike Davenport, Amazing guy. Did you show the inside yet? I, I did, I just okay. briefly, right, yeah. All right, all right. And I decided to get not the crew cab, I didn't want the crew cab because it takes up a little more of the bed space, so I just got the regular. Yeah, because you don't have any family, you don't, you know, right. kids, stuff like that. And, and right. if you had kids, I would have never let you, let you buy something like this. You couldn't sit back there, a little, you know, someone like me. I mean, I'm 6'3. Yeah. You, know, you can sit there, but not comfortably. Yeah. yeah. But crew cab, I love the crew cab. Crew cab's awesome. Yeah. But, uh, you know, all star package, you get power seat on both sides, which is nice. You know, you got USB ports, you got, uh, what do we got? We got one, two, we got three USB ports in this truck. And an outlet, so, an actual like yeah, wall, power, what, a 120 outlet, volt outlet. 120 volt, for yeah. like, so you want to plug in your laptop. Yep, or, laptop. You know, stuff like that. So for your trailer, your trailer you're going to buy for the yeah, whole, one of your ZL1s. Yeah, brakes, yep. You got the trailer brakes already integrated, so. Truck looks amazing. Very happy with it. Uh, and, um, like I said, this is gonna. Now this isn't what it looked like though when you when you when it yeah when we got it. I should so. I should probably say that too. So if you want to see what this truck used to look like, go to Mike's channel. He drove this truck to me this morning at our hotel room. Cleaned it up at what 3 a.m. You yeah. cleaned this thing right, up at 3 right a.m. Yeah, yeah, right around there. Yeah. Dedicated see, sales guy. Let me tell you something. Video. Let me tell you something. There's okay. nobody in nobody in the world that compares to the Mike Davenport customer service package. I'm on 70 minutes of sleep. I think about 70. It might be a little yeah. bit less, but. 70 minutes of sleep. I, I don't care who you are. I don't care if you live in Louisville or you live in 
California, you need to buy a vehicle from Mike. If you're looking at any Chevy, whatever, Mike will get you taken care of. This is now my second vehicle from him, and I'm completely happy. And I'm, I'm be honest with you guys, it's not just because I'm on YouTube and because I do these videos and everything bad. Mike treats all of his customers the same. I was there yesterday and witnessed all of it, so. Um, yeah, yeah, I mean, you saw, me, you saw me yeah, selling a yeah. car. And I, yeah, yeah I mean, I walked in, it's not like he, he gave up and, and, and just and I actually kind of pushed you to the side, right? He, he I mean, pushed me to the side. I'm not gonna lie, like, I did. Hey, you go over here. Yeah, he's here, like, you know what? Here, I gotta, I gotta. Sure he's like, go I gotta here. go on a test drive. Just, <laughs> just sit right there. So yeah, he. I'll tell you, he, he's, he's good. He's a great guy. You know, so. he, he, yeah, I said it. I said it in the video of the ZL1. It's all about having fun, you know. Yeah. And and you don't have you don't have to, you don't have to be that typical car guy that we all hate. Yeah. You know that I hate, that you hate, yeah, that right. everybody here hates. It's just you know, hey, you can have fun doing it. Yeah. Thank you again to Mike Davenport, Louisville Chevy dude. Bachman Chevrolet, Louisville, Kentucky. Check him out. His channel is, uh, will be in my description as well. Sorry, we're trying not to get hit by cars here because we're on a main road right now, but um, this is the best view I can get of this truck. We decided to pull it under this trailer. This is the cold air inductions trailer here. And uh, we're, tight <laughs> I'm gonna, for, we're tight for I'm going yeah, to show you guys a, a quick few clips here in a second about cold air inductions. A little sneak peek for my 2017. Hey, do they know so, you've got two Z01s? They do. They do. Yeah. Over here. They and, do. You know, now we got three Zs. They do. They do. <laughs> All right, so stay tuned here in a second and we'll show you what's up with Cold Air Inductions. Okay, so I'm here with the guys from Cold Air Inductions. This is Kyle. How you guys doing? And what they're doing today is they're gonna basically show us real quick and they're gonna replace the filter in my fifth gen Cold Air Induction system. Obviously you can see how dirty and disgusting it is because you can't, now you can't wash these, but we're just gonna put a new one on. However, uh, this was driven in the rain or all day yesterday. So there's the new one, Cold Air Inductions logo on it. And those of you that, uh, do have these or maybe you're thinking about getting one of these boxes it's very simple take this top glass piece off here it's actually plexiglass but uh it unscrews with these uh three allen wrench screws and uh pop the filter off and that's it so very simple setup and it's nice and showy kind of looks very stock which which is why i originally bought this intake this intake just kind of pops right through here and there's a rubber seal that's on the other side here that allows for flex and and everything like that. This nice insulation here keeps this box extremely cool. I've tested it out already. I actually took this lid off after driving, put my hand in here and it was way cooler than it was over here. So definitely works. All right guys, so they just installed the new filter on the fifth gen and here is a sneak peek for you guys for the sixth gen, their new Elite Carbon Series intake. And now this is just a prototype right now, but they were just test fitting on the car. We might drive the car a little bit and see how it how it performs and everything like that, make sure everything's okay. But this thing looks amazing. It is gonna pretty much look exactly the same. Now this is just dipped right now in a carbon fiber finish, but it's gonna be real carbon fiber. This glass piece here is gonna be completely flat and flush and polished out and it'll look, it's, it looks amazing as is, but it's, it's gonna look even better when the new intake comes out. And um, yeah, I'm very excited for this thing. Everything is completely redesigned from the fifth gen version. It's perfect. I like how that lines up. Yeah. It's just, it, it is nice how that just lines directly up with with the opening down here and everything. Yeah, if you can like see, almost just like factory. This is where the air would normally come in here, and this he, this here comes right through. It's sealed completely around this, and the air will go right up through the intake. So it's pretty much a true cold air intake. You know, air comes in through here and goes right to that. Uh, no, nothing even touches, you know, the inside of the engine or anything like that. So it's all completely sealed. Now, in order to change this filter, this whole thing, this tube just pops out. Screw here. You just unscrew this here and comes right out. I love it. I think it's awesome. So this is going to be the first mod on the ZL1. And I didn't even do it. And he didn't even do it. <laughs> They've been working on this for hours upon hours upon hours and they got it here today. Tell them how long you've been working on this, just this this prototype here. We actually uh, had a test mule in in March and uh, we were able to get the math with our Romer arm and uh, it's been in design since then. and. Uh, once we finalize the design, it's been on a 3D printer for 200 hours just to get 200, to this point. 200 hours. James over there, the CEO, he is uh, he's our chief engineer and uh, he is uh, really uh, detail oriented and it just had to be perfect. And based on what I see here, it ended up uh, just perfect. Yeah, he was telling me that <laughs> the, I guess this angle here, is the exact same as this. He three he printed the whole thing to make it match the the stock engine and everything. So amazing work. Um, 
I don't think any other intake company compares to this. Thank you, Kyle. Appreciate you it, guys. man. Appreciate we it. Will, uh, we'll be testing this out today, and like I said, for you guys, the, the system should be out, he was saying, late August, so you'll have to stay tuned for that. Nick, I love you, but these next clips, they're for you, buddy. Hey, Nick, I got you two decals for your, your fifth and sixth gen. Now you just need a red Lethal Camaro shirt to go along with it, right? What is better than two ZL1s? Two red Gatorades. Do you have two Lethal Camaro hats, Nick? Oh my god, it's Lethal Camaro's Camaro! Ah! Where's he? Hey, Where what are you doing in my ah! car? Nothing. I'm not, I'm not doing anything here. I always liked that hood. I thought this, I, I looked at it, I think this is like one of the better sixth gen hoods I've seen in a, in a while. I, the reason, so the biggest reason why I like this hood <laughs> is the stock sixth gen hood I felt was very Euro. Right. Like it had that Euro feel. No, I'm you're like, right. You're right. We gotta With bring the little that, vents we gotta and bring everything. That muscle. Yeah. Now, your Z01, like, they brought the muscle back. Like the, the muscle came with the Z01. They were right. like the SS. Yeah, we'll give it a little Euro. This brought it back for me, so. Yeah. All that's functional too, I like yeah, it. Yeah, well it dropped the ATs about 20 degrees. So yeah. on idle. Yeah. And uh, wow. driving around it dropped, I think about five or six. Yeah. The stance of your car is like perfect too, you know? Yeah, man, it looks good, definitely. There we go, there we go, here we go, exhaust sounds. Camaro with oh, the it, felt, it felt good with the AC on there for <laughs> <laughs> All right guys, so we're ending the first day of Camaro Fest in Bowling Green, Kentucky in my new truck It's very hot. I've got a massive amount of sunburn on my face Lauren still this is my ghost looking good right because now. she was under the in the shade all day No, this is my ghost. Okay, so that's not actually Lauren. That's her ghost. Lethal Camaro has been stalking me the whole entire day <laughs> It's very true, but honestly guys Lethal Camaro is does amazing videos on different installs. I'm sure many of you do know who he is, but for those of you that do not, I will have his info in the description of my video. He's got a badass sixth gen uh, SS, and it's now pro charged, so it's making good power. And I'm trying to convince him to go on the track tomorrow, so hopefully it, might, it probably will happen. He's making excuses because his head's too big and won't fit in a, in a helmet, but I think we can find a big helmet for him. <laughs> Another guy I would like to thank immensely is this dude right here, Mike Davenport. Woo! Louisville Chevy dude, coming in with the win today. <laughs> I can't thank him enough, so again, I'll have his info as well in the description. He's gonna have a video out too. Please be sure to check that out. And as always, follow all of my social media. It will be in the description of this video. Hit that subscribe button and have a great day.